Today I will show you how to create this scene in no time with the power of PCG in Unreal Engine 5. Let's get started. So let's get started. Before we can use the PCG graph I have here, complicated word, we need to enable it by going under plugins and looking for procedural. Oh, there we go. So we need to enable the procedural content generation framework. That's what we want. When we have done this, you need to restart Unreal Engine. I obviously have it already enabled. And um, let's go to the next part. That would be creating your PCG. So just right click PCG and let's call it uh, one. And let's open it up. So that's what you have when you open it. Not really fancy, but let's drag it into the scene first. Don't make it too big for testing. I keep it small. You can change the scale here and you can regenerate and clean up your PCG. But let's hop back and see what we need to do. So the first thing we want to create is a surface sampler. Just right click surface sampler. And we need to tell the surface sampler to get the terrain. For this, we just hit the drop down, landscape, surface, and then we have our surface sampler. If you click on this one, hit D, you are in the debug view. So now we have these little cubes. These cubes are the spawn locations for our foliage. By the way, the foliage, you can get this just under um, get content, Pixel bridge and then you just download your plants whatever you want I have a few downloaded and imported to the project but that's the place where you can get them so when we are in the debug view we give them a few more points per square meter let's say 10 and as you can see nothing is changing even not on the force region That's because we need to scale down the points. So right now they are on 100 and we already filled up the volume. So let's make them smaller by maybe two by two by two and increase the density to 20. And as you can see, more points are spawning. It's maybe a little bit much, let's say 15. Perfect, so now we can spawn foliage. So the next thing we want to do before we spawn anything is add some noise, some density noise. We just right click, density, density, noise. Let's put this one in, hit a D, oh, don't call it D, just hit D. And as you can see, we can now apply some noise values. This is just for that not everything looks roughly the same. I just revert the values because the standard one are fine. And this will give us some nice looking variation later on. When we have that one, we want the density filter. Right click, density, filter. This filter allows us to control the density of the foliage we will spawn or with the lower bound and upper bound. You can also invert the filter so lower and upper are upside down, basically inverted, like the box already says. So now we need some foliage. And for that we need a static mesh spawner. So right click, static mesh spawner. Before we use this, hit the node and hit E so it's disabled for the moment and is not spawning what we will feed into it. So now we need to give it a random seed and we need to add mesh entries. I give it like three entries and then I go in my content, mega scans, plants and let's give it some, some nice looking flowers. So I open the index and the descriptor and I just put in what I want to spawn. Close the descriptor, open index, descriptor, Close the scriptor, open index, and again. 
and let's give it this one and that's basically it if we now hit e everything should spawn in our um, volume here it is okay perfect so let's hit e and see what happens and look at that we have foliage but as you can see they all look in the same direction for that we need to add one more node so we want to add a transform node transform oh transform points here we go so that's the one so if we go into the node we can change the scale min and max and we want to change the rotation max to 360 and now we have random rotation and we want to change the scale let's say 0.85 to 1.15 so we have a difference in height and that's how you use pcg so if we want to spawn another flower we would just copy this part copy paste it disable the node and under the descriptor we would change the meshes when that's done we just connect it to the surface sampler let me open a project i prepared and i'll show you how it can look in the end that's a little scene i created with mega scan trees mega scan trees and way more foliage it's a little bit more optimized um, it's using ultra dynamic sky but that's what you can achieve so we have multiple foliage actors different plants different trees and that's all done by pcg it's it's a really nice and fast method to create open worlds with a lot of different foliage and if you are curious how to create nice looking foliage without using mega scans you really should check out this video here